January was a very productive reading month for me and so I'm hoping that February can be just as productive and I can stay on track with my reading challenge for the year. And so I've come up with a short list of books that I would like to read during February um, so that then I can just be inspired by whatever books take my fancy as I come to them. So I have got um, five books on my TBR list and then one book which I'm already reading that I might have finished before February starts but that I might not have done so I'm kind of going to include it in my wrap up video and in my February TBR because I need to finish it before I can move on with the series. So I need to finish City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare. This is the fifth book in the Mortal Instruments series which I've just been like totally obsessed with this month and I'm just trying to devour as much Cassandra Clare as I can so that when Lady Midnight comes out in March I am like ready and prepared and I can just have that book because I've pre-ordered it and I'm so excited and I really want it. But yeah, so I need to finish this one before I can move on to the next one. So I'm pretty much, I'm, I'm almost done. I've only got like this much. It'll probably only take me like a day or so to finish it. So yeah, hopefully I'll get this finished very quickly. And then I will be moving on to the beast that is City of Heavenly Fire, the sixth and final book in the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. And then I will be done with the Mortal Instruments series and that's very very exciting so I will then be taking a bit of a break from Cassandra Clare and the Shadowhunter universe and I will be moving on to A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab and this will be a reread for me because I want to reread it in time for A Gathering of Shadows to come out I think on the 27th, 22nd of February. Um, I've pre-ordered that and I'm really looking forward to it but I can't remember some of the finer points from this book so I want to reread this uh, so that I can be completely up to date and have it fresh in my mind for the release of the second book in this series. And then of course I will be reading A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab at some point during the month. Hopefully I will be free and ready to read it as soon as it comes out and as soon as it arrives on my doorstep. So hopefully that will be here the day that it comes out and I'll be able to just dig straight into that and yeah and love it and I can't wait. I also want to read Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. I've read one book by Rainbow Rowell and I really enjoyed it so I'm really keen to try out a couple of her other books. I've heard a few things about this one and I've heard mixed reviews but I think I'm going to enjoy it. Um, I'm hoping that I don't need to have read Fangirl for this to make sense. I'm hoping that it does work like as a standalone because I understand that this is actually the fan fiction that is being written by the girl in Fangirl, but I haven't read Fangirl, so I don't know. Um, but I am looking forward to this one. And then there is another series that I have been wanting to start for quite a while, and that is the Fallen Kingdoms series by Morgan Rhodes, and I'm really excited to get into this. I keep seeing it on my shelf, and I'm just desperate to get into it, but I've got so many other things that I want to read that kind of starting a new series has kind of fallen to the bottom of my list. But with finishing, hopefully, the Mortal Instruments series, that will leave a space for another series in my life so I will try and pick up this one um, and then maybe I'll read The Infernal Devices after I've finished this one, like after I've read Lady Midnight, I don't know. I don't know but I really want to get around to this series um, soon and just know what everybody's talking about because I hear good things about this one and I just, I need this in my life so <laughs> I am looking forward to reading this one. And then let's just see what else I get round to in February. Hopefully I will get through a good number of books um, and will at least keep myself ahead of myself for my reading challenge this year and I'm hoping that I can be, get into a position where I can like push that boundary like a little bit further, maybe to like 75 books, but I don't want to like be too preemptive and go for that too soon and then be really disappointed. So I'm going to wait a couple of months, see how I go, um, but hopefully this this list is going to um, be done by the end of February and hopefully a couple of others will be done as well. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching. If you would like to see me do all of the booky things that I do in all of the places that I do them, then, then you can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. I will leave links in the description below. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!